Hey everyone, I'm Robert Paris. And I'm Liz Gillespie, and we're here at the BCAT Red Carpet. We're looking forward to interviewing a bunch of people coming here for the annual meeting, so uh, let's get to it. You yep. ready? Ready. Let's go! <laughs> Linda McNamee. Awesome. So what are you looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to my glow-in-the-dark can koozie. Oh, very exciting. Very exciting. But I'm also looking forward to finally getting back in person mm -hmm. with all the other volunteers and the staff and just celebrating the fact that we survived a different year. Definitely. Big night. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so I'm here with Colleen Moore. And Colleen, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing well. Um, so just talk about what you do here for BCAT. Well, uh, first and foremost, I am a producer. I uh, produce a show for my church. And uh, based on some of the experience that I got there, I uh, became a board member. And so now I sit on the board also. And I volunteer in other areas as well. And just talk about what, you, what you're looking forward to tonight. I am looking forward to hearing all the cool stuff that's been going on over the pandemic. I know that there's been a lot of shifting of things and, and things have been done differently, but it sounded like there was a lot of things still going on that were great. I want to thank you for coming out for this uh, great night. Uh, thank you for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me, thank Robert. You. Take care. And we're back with Christine Argenio. Nick Argenio. And what's your guys' involvement with BCAT? Um, we have a TV show called The Open Mic, where we have musicians come on and they perform for the, for the show. Oh, very fun. So what are you guys looking forward to most tonight? I don't know. It's kind of a surprise. I haven't been to one of these in a couple of years, so it'll be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a great night. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so who do I have this pleasure of speaking with tonight? Hi, I'm Roger Riggs. I'm on the board of uh, BCAT. And Roger, tell us about what some of the stuff you do here at BCAT. Um, I, the board sort of oversees operations and sets policy and keeps an eye on things and really encourages all the individual contributors to uh, and give them the uh, resources that they need to be innovative and creative. And just talk about what, what you're looking forward to tonight. Tonight? Oh, I think that I'm just looking forward to seeing all the recognition of the work that people have put in in the last year and the programs that they've produced. So I want to thank you for coming on for the red carpet. All right. Thank have you very day. much. And we're back with? Ethan Dore. Awesome. And what's been your involvement here with BCAT? So I've been part of the Video Voyagers now for two years. Um, I like helping out. I film some games. Um, so yeah, I've just been helping out around BCAT for a little while now. I really love um, the environment. Awesome. What's been your favorite part of volunteering here? Um, I love going out and filming games, but also uh, doing skits for Video Voyagers is always great. So, yeah. Yeah, very fun. So what are you looking forward to most this evening? Um, I'd like to meet some new volunteers. You know, I just don't know many of the members of the BCAT community as much as I'd like to. Definitely. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Have a good night. Thank you. So we're here back at the Red Carbon. Who have the pleasure of speaking with tonight? Uh, Mike Espejo. And Mike, just talk about what you do here for a BCAT. What are the stuff to do? Uh, I'm on the board of directors here at BCAT. I also do uh, a podcast called the uh, the Pod Where It Happens, and uh, started that maybe a couple of months ago, and it's going well. And uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? Uh, looking forward to just the production. I hear we're going to have some good uh, presentations on the uh, wrap up of the year, and uh, it's been a, it's a tough year for everybody, but uh, BCAT has just gone through with flying colors. So I'm excited to celebrate that and watch. Uh, watch the, the program. I want to thank you for coming on to the Red Carpet. I hope you have a great evening. Thank you, Robert. You too. You. All right, and we're back with Heidi Mover. Awesome. And how long have you been involved here with BCAT? Off and on for probably about 15 years. Wow. So what are you looking forward to most tonight? Um, just familiar faces and seeing everyone. I've been so impressed with what everyone's done, like with the limitations of the last year. So it, it's a great opportunity to catch up. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. All right. So who are the pleasure of speaking with tonight? This is Julie Eggleston, and um, I'm here because sometimes I get around to doing our TV show, Burlington Blooms, and we've actually filmed one episode, So, and we're getting ready to film another one. We were supposed to do it now, but that didn't work. All right, and Julie, what have you been doing throughout the pandemic through, with BCAT? Uh, well, I've been watching it, but I unfortunately I haven't been doing my show. Um, I wish I had, but I've been sort of scouting out gardens because I do the show about gardens in the town um, but that's basically what I've done and I feel like I need to get a refresher in editing and lastly what are you looking forward to tonight oh food 
and the awards. <laughs> but to be honest, the food. <laughs> well, Julie, I want to thank you for coming on uh, for the red carpet. Enjoy your evening. Thank you so much. And we're back with? State Representative Ken Gordon. Awesome. So how long have you been involved here with BCAT? Well, since about nine years, uh, we started with Wrapping with the Rep. It's been going on for more than 50 episodes, and it's been just a great experience. Excellent. So what are you looking forward to most this evening? Really just getting together with people. It's been a while. It's been, what, about a year and a half since we've been able to see a lot of the BCAT folks in person. It's going to be great. Definitely. Thank you so much for coming out. Have a great night, evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, you too. All right, so I'm here with? Uh, it's Brandon. Brandon Gordon. I'm here with the great Brandino and Brand. Just talk a little about some of the stuff you've been doing for BCAT over many of the years. Uh, you know, I started in uh, middle school, early middle school, uh, or actually before that, uh, half a year before that, over the summer, during the summer course, and I just, they haven't been able to get rid of me after that. Uh, I've just been here doing all kinds of stuff. I've been filming stuff, I've been acting stuff, I've been both sometimes at the same time. It's been fun. It's been a good time. And Brandon, what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, you know, sitting down, watching the awards, heard there was some food. That'll be cool. Yes, very cool. Are there other things? Awards, uh, talking to people, yes, meeting people. That's a fourth thing. Yeah, that's a fourth thing that's going to be here. I think I, I think I listed them all. Hope you have a great evening tonight. I hope you do too as well. Thank you. And we're back this evening with? Jolly. That one. <laughs> So, how long have you been involved here with BCAT? Uh, six years. <laughs> so, what got you involved here? Um, my mom heard about the uh, BCAT Video Voyagers through a friend, and I decided to join. And I've been here ever since. Very fun. So, what are you looking forward to most this evening? Um, I'm not just seeing all the people that I haven't gotten to see for a really long time. And um, also, this might be one of my last award ceremonies here at BCAT. Oh, wow. Not, but, so. <laughs> Very fun. fun. All right, thank you so much for coming. Have a great night. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, so who would I have the pleasure of speaking with tonight? Evan McNamee. Evan, great to see you. And uh, just talk a little about some of the stuff you do here for BCAT. Well, I am a volunteer. I do, like, camera work. I did some stuff ever since September of 2020, and I've been doing it ever since. And do you like it? Oh yeah. <laughs> and Evan, what are you looking forward to tonight? Um, well, I've been here ever since I was in Wolf Year, convenient Cub Scout wise, so 2018, and that was the year I actually got an award. Wow. I don't plan on getting an award tonight, but this is much different and well, it just feels good to be back together considering last one had to, last year's had to be virtual. Well, Evan, I want to thank you for coming on for the red carpet. I hope you enjoy your evening. Thanks, you too. And I'm here with? Uh, production coordinator, Chris Flaherty. So what's been your favorite memory over the last year at BCAT? Um, I've really enjoyed all these events that we've adapted for the times. Like you and I were both there for graduation last year. I thought that was a really nice day. Um, yeah, I mean, I think you were there for town meeting too. Town meeting, you know, was very interesting on the football field. Um, yeah, oh, no. I forgot about that. Yeah, it was it was a very interesting year. Um, I think one of my favorite things that we did last year was the Christmas lift up. Yes, very exciting. I think there's more footage of outtakes than there is the actual lift up. One hundred percent. Yeah, that those outtake reels will probably never see the light of day. But <laughs> all right. So, what are you looking forward to most this evening? Uh, I'm just really happy to see everyone together again. You know, I've seen people in bursts throughout the year, and uh, no, it's just nice to have everyone together again. Definitely. Thank you so much for coming out here this evening. Have a great night. Thank you, and Liz, thank you for all you do, and congratulations on everything. Thank you very much. All right, so we're here at the red carpet. And, uh, who am I with tonight? This is Bob Krieg of the Old Forts. And Bob, just talk a little bit some of the stuff you do here at BCAT. Well, uh, primarily, I'm the producer and host of The Old Farts, which has been going on for about 15 years. It's a monthly discussion show about whatever people want to talk about. I'm also a member of the BCAT board, and I'm wet. Yep, and we actually have an umbrella right above us, so uh, <laughs> it is raining outside. But, uh, Bob, just talk a little about what you're looking forward to tonight. Seeing... Uh, Seeing people I haven't seen in a year and a half, uh, BCAT's kind of a family. And uh, as with most of us, we're not seeing our family for a while, so it's beginning to 
become uh, possible. So that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, well, Bob, I want to thank you for coming on uh, the red carpet tonight. Okay. All right, and who am I speaking with tonight? Sanjeev. And Sanjeev, just talk a little about some of the stuff you've been doing for BCAT during the pandemic. Well, uh, I went for the BCAT like spring program, and I also went for the BCAT Video Voyagers summer program before. And what are you looking forward to tonight? Well, the awards ceremony and possibly even seeing some of the cool things people from BCAT have created. All right, well, thank you for coming on the Red Carbon, and I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you. All right, we're back here on the Red Carbon. Who I have the pleasure of speaking with tonight? Pat Marino. And Pat, talk about some of the stuff you do here for BCAT. That I have done for yeah. BCAT? Um, we had a program called Burlington and Beyond that was, um, in my estimation, fascinating because it brought um, a whole array, an array of different people from politics, from government, from uh, public service, um, even just friends and whatnot. And I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. And then came the virus and we had to uh, stop. And it's a little bit, uh, I've considered starting the program again, but it's a little bit difficult. I have to consider my age as well as my desire to, uh, to do the programs. Maybe, maybe I will uh, start and do it on, a, on another basis. At any rate, I'm glad, happy to be here. BCAT always puts on a terrific show. And you, my friend, are always part of it. I see you there all the time. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and enjoy the evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, and who have the pleasure of speaking with tonight? Uh, Chris Rose. And Chris, talk a little about some of the stuff you do here for BCAT. I've been volunteering for about the past year, uh, but I've actually uh, used to go when I was in high school here, I was a volunteer, so it's been a good uh, 20 years. Uh, but recently I've been doing, uh, I uh, filmed the graduation, the high school graduation. I've been doing some sports. Uh, I've been uh, directing on Linda's show. So I've just uh, kind of a jack of all trades, wherever they need me, on a volunteer. And uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? Uh, meeting a whole lot of volunteers that I probably haven't seen in a while or haven't met yet. So it's going to sounds like it's going to be a, a big event tonight. Well, Chris, I want to thank you for coming on to the red carpet. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we're back tonight with Gretchen Carey. Awesome. So how long have you been involved here at BCAT? Uh, well, since my daughter was with Video Voyagers a very long time ago, she graduated five years ago now. So, um, <laughs> uh, and I have been on the board since 2012. Wow. So what are you looking forward to most this evening? I am, I just, I like watching everybody get recognized for all their hard work. That's not a big deal. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. You're welcome. All right, that was a fun time we had at the red carpet. And it was great seeing everyone here. Let's head down to the auditorium and see what's going on. Let's go. Let's go.